What's going on, people of Earth? We're getting ready to do a butter, brown butter crisp um, cookie recipe. I don't do a whole lot of baking with cookies and cakes and stuff like that, but my wife is on this special kind of diet. And um, we're going to make a substitute in the diet in the um, actual recipe where it calls for regular flour. We're going to substitute um, coconut flour. Now, one thing, if you don't know about coconut flour, coconut flour is very dense. And so you've got to use less coconut flour. Say, for instance, if if it calls for one and a half cups of of regular flour, you got to use 20 percent less of coconut flour because it soaks up so much water and so much liquid that you'd have to just inundate it with with liquid. So follow us along and hope you like this recipe. Peace. All right. Again, this is not my recipe. This is actually a recipe that I took from um, uh, Reed Drummond, the pioneer woman on um, on the Food Channel. But basically, they're, they're called brown butter crispies, and we're going to use some coconut flour. We're going to use one cup of brown butter, and we're going to have to show you how to make this brown butter. Um, we're going to use um, a cup of brown sugar, which we've got back there. We're going to use um, a cup of granulated sugar, which you got some of that sugar in the raw. You use two large eggs, and those are actually extra large. Some um, vanilla extract, about a teaspoon full. Um, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Now, this is coconut flour, and so we've got about, um, there's about two ounces of, two ounces of, two and a half ounces of coconut flour. Um, we've got a teaspoon of kosher salt, teaspoon of, of baking soda, um, three cups of quick oats. And what I did, I took regular oats here, regular oatmeal, um, the whole oatmeal, and I just ground them up. And then um, one, and ha one half cup of pecans. And I don't have the pecans up here, so we will have the pecans up here in a little bit, but we're gonna show you how to make the brown butter stuff first. Alrighty, the first thing we wanna do is brown our butter. And we're gonna take some of this butter here and it's just like it says, you're just going to, you're going to, uh, let this bu butter, butter bubble up. I can't even talk this afternoon. You're going to let this butter bubble up until it turns a brown color. And then we're going to have to put it off to the side and let it cool. Cause you don't want to, you don't want to use this. Um, you don't want to use this hot in the recipe. So again, we're just going to let that cook for three or four minutes and, We'll let that melt and then we'll come right back. Alrighty, butter is melted. And now we're just gonna let it heat up and you wanna kinda keep it moving around a little bit. And again, the whole process is gonna take about three to four minutes. Alrighty guys, now after about three to four minutes, you'll start to notice that it turns a golden brown. Is that not cool? And we're gonna remove this from the heat and then we're gonna to have to let this sit for about 30 minutes or so. Can y'all see that? Yeah. So we're gonna remove all this out, the golden brown, and you wanna get all the solids that are in there, guys. So you wanna get all, all this stuff, get your nice little spatula, get all that stuff that comes out, because it will produce some solids when you heat butter like this. Okay, and then we're gonna let that come to room temperature so about 30 minutes or so, and then we'll come back. All right, the recipe calls for half a cup. Now, this is a full cup of pecans, but it calls for a half a cup of finely chopped. So we're going to put them in the little processor here, or the little, that's not really called a processor, but um, we're going to put them in there, and we're going to finely chop these things here. And this is a pretty neat little gadget here. I've had it for a few years. It's made by Braun. Get them to the final shop. All right, that's what we have after we get through doing that. And we're going to see how much we have. Did we make a half a cup? I'm pretty sure we did. All right, that produced about. Um, that's that's about a cup. That's. A half a cup in there but it's it's really tightly packed so it's not really a whole densely packed cup of um pecan so it should be good all right a few of these we can do while the um butter mixture is cooling down we do our one teaspoon of um baking soda 
we can do our one teaspoon of salt. And this is kosher salt. Well, we can attempt to do it. And we can mix that in real good. And again, this is coconut flour, guys. And then the rest of it, we've got to wait until the butter mixture is completely at room temperature. So that's got about 18 minutes or so. And so we'll come back. All righty, y'all. Now it's come to room temperature and we want one cup of tightly packed brown sugar. What I did is I put that into the little the, um, measuring cup and just packed it down and then one cup of the regular sugar here. So we're going to add this all in here and then we're going to mix this. And they say to mix it with a stand mixer. I don't have a stand mixer, but I've got a regular mixer and we're going to mix it all up. All righty. Hopefully this won't be a Tracy drop camera moment here. We're just going to mix it up here. All right. We'll come back once we get that thoroughly mixed up. I'm sure you guys don't want to watch all of that. All righty, we got that all nice and mixed up. Now we're going to take us some eggs here. And we're going to beat the eggs. All right, we're just going to beat our eggs here. We're going to do this separately. And then we're going to add one teaspoonful of the vanilla extract. We're going to make some good cookies, y'all. And the thing is, I'm probably not even going to eat these cookies. I'm just making them for my wife because she likes them. So now we'll add our vanilla extract. All right, one teaspoon of vanilla extract in there. Mix it up a little bit more. It smells really good. Mix that in thoroughly. And then we'll add this to our butter mixture. All righty, we're going to add this to our butter mixture here. Put that down on the side here. Get our trusty spatula so we can get it all out. And we just want to mix that in real well. These are probably going to be some rich cookies. All right, then we'll add our flour mixture to this, our coconut flour mixture to it. All right, let's go ahead and add our flour mixture to that. And again, it's all already got the baking soda in it. And we're going to add our, add our oatmeal to it and mix it well again. And this is all ground up here. They're going to be hearty cookies, boy. Hardy, har, har. Just make sure you get everything in there. All right, we'll come back as we get it mixed a little bit thoroughly. All right, once we get all that mixed in, we're going to add in our pecans. And mix this all in as well, too.
All right, and we will come back after we get it totally mixed here. All right, I thought it might be a good idea just to do it with gloves on, y'all, you know. And these ain't work gloves. These are, these are clean gloves. I haven't been outside working the lawnmower with these. Just going to kind of mix it all in. That spoon, boy, you start messing with that spoon and spinning it around, shoot, that stuff gets heavy in a minute. But I can see how these will come together here. All right. And we're going to roll these out into a roll. And we're going to bake them at 350 degrees. So set your oven for 350 degrees. All right. All righty, what we're going to do here next is split it into half here. And we're going to put half of it in here. And I don't know why the recipe says to split it into half. But you're going to, you're going to roll this. Make it into a roll. Tightly roll it. And then you can either you can either freeze that or you can go ahead and cut it into individual um, sheets. See, I don't like that. I mean, I see why they said to do it that way, but... Right, let's do it this way here. I mean, you want to cut it about three-fourths of an inch, guys. All right going to get some parchment paper and get a cookie sheet. All right, we want to cut it into three quarters of an inch, so that's about like this. And then we're just going to form that into a cookie shape, because I don't think this is going to spread out because it doesn't have flour in there, guys, so you're going to have to make the cookie shape here. So whatever shape you make them, it's the shape they're gonna be. So we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and cut those up and then I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, but again, whatever shape you make them is gonna be the shape they're gonna be because these are like healthy cookies. All righty, y'all, we got about 25 of them right there. They're all different sizes. Some of them look kind of kind of weird, but you got some small ones down at this end, <laughs> got some big ones down at that end. So we're gonna bake these at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes or so. And if you think about it, guys, that'll give you just about enough time to clean up all the mess that you made. So I'm going to clean this stuff up and wash some dishes. And by the time we get through with this, we'll come back and we'll have some brown butter crispies. Guys, you cannot ask for any timing better than that right there. The beeper just went off. The cookies are done. Let's see what they look like. All righty. Well, I didn't think they would spread, but these cookies actually rose. And they're a little bit, I'm going to let them cook a little bit longer just to be on the safe side because they're supposed to be crisp. So we're going to see. We're going to let them cook for another five minutes. All right, it's been about five minutes. I'm going to grab my gloves here. They go out. They look a lot better, you guys. That looks good. We're going to let these cool for a little while. I'll let you get a better look at them here. I mean, you can see them, but let's get a better look at them. Like I said, they look like some of them kind of rose somewhat. So we're going to let them cool. Uh, cool, And they got to taste good. With the ingredients that it has in there, it's got to taste good. So they came out pretty good. Um, and uh, once we taste them, I'll come back. All righty, gang. They were delicious. They're real good. We wanted to cook them. Well, Marsha wants to cook them a little bit longer because she wants them to be crispy. And so we cooked them for about an extra 20 to 25 minutes. They brown. And I think with coconut flour, you have to cook it a little bit longer, too, because the flour is so dense um, that it, it requires longer cook times. Now, I don't know if that's a fact, but it seems logical since you have to use less of the, the coconut flour than you do you know the regular flour so but the, the taste delicious really really good so hope you enjoyed this try it on your own and good cooking peace